There is a report today that a terror suspect who was let go from U.S. custody has assumed a key leadership position with Al-Qaeda. National correspondent Catherine Herridge has details. Catherine? Hey, thanks, Brett. al Shiri is a Saudi released from Guantanamo Bay in the fall of 2007. He was allegedly a travel coordinator for the Al-Qaeda network. But while in custody, al Shiri made a strong case that Osama bin Laden was a bad Muslim and bin Laden had no business representing the Islamic people. Given his rebuke of the Al-Qaeda leader and other evidence, al-Shiri was sent home. Al-Shiri is one of 62 de detainees who were suspected or confirmed of returning to the battlefield out of 550 released. That means the recidivism rate or the rate of return to the fight is estimated by the Defense Department as approximately 1 in 10. It's worth noting that al-Shiri fled to Yemen, a country with a poor track record of detaining terror suspects. It's also worth noting that 100, nearly half of the detainees at Guantanamo are Yemenis. A U.S. counterterrorism official tells Fox that they believe al-Shiri supported this brazen attack on the U.S. Embassy in the Yemeni capital last September. It was a sophisticated and multi-layered attack using truck bombs, suicide bombers in the crowd, and snipers. Nineteen people, including six civilians, were killed. This afternoon, the top Senate Republican described the Gitmo problem this way. As you know, we've had kind of mixed results with the people we've let out. I think it is pretty dangerous. One thing to say you're going to close it, quite another to answer the question, what are you going to do with it? For balance, Defense Secretary Gates, who's staying on for President Obama, told reporters that closing Guantanamo would generate goodwill, and he said as a result, some European nations may be more willing to take the detainees off U.S. hands. Brett. Catherine, thank you.